Welcome back. I'm Megan Lee here with your sports. Another shutout. After an extreme amount of rain here in Searcy, like the usual, the floodgates opened and everywhere was suddenly, well, swamp-like. So the game was moved to Lakeside High School in Hot Springs for the women's soccer game. They beat Northwestern Oklahoma 3 to nothing last night in conference action, and Harding improves to 5 and 3 and 1, and Northwestern Oklahoma falls to 3, 5 and 1 in the GAC. The two scores for Harding were Melanie Spurgeon and Emma Welch. Spurgeon had two goals and Welch had one. Harding will play its final home game of the season tomorrow when they take on Southwestern Oklahoma at 11 a.m. And the Harding volleyball team had four players in double figures last night as they defeated Southern Arkansas 3-2-1. No surprise there as Southern Arkansas falls to their new record of 3 and um, 20 overall and 1 and 11 in the GAC. Harding improves to 16 and 9 overall and 7 and 5 in conference. A solid group of Lady Bisons carried out this win last night and I want to give them all recognition because they're just that good. Allie Stoner had a season high of 14 kills. Libby Hinton had 13 with 4 blocks. Kelly McKinnon had 4 blocks and 10 kills. Kinley Schnell had 11 digs and to close us out Logan Smith captured a double double with 12 kills and 14 digs and Katherine Cowart led the defense with 16 digs. Whew, a lot was happening last night. Everyone, okay, stop what you're doing right now and listen to me. I mean, hopefully you have been the whole time, but it's fine. Tomorrow is the last regular home football game of the season, and it's going to be a good one. Nationally ranked number 18 Harding is hosting East Central tomorrow, and it's senior day. The Bisons are seeking their eighth straight win, and the game features the top two rushers in the Great American Conference. Cole Chansey leads the GAC with 981 rushing yards, and East Central's Ontario Douglas is second with 977. Only four yards of separation. What a matchup. Harding is still part of a three-way tie for second place in the GAC. One game back of leader Washita Baptist. Please don't make me talk about the Washita game that Harding lost at the beginning of the season. It hurts too much, but we've all moved on, right? Anyway, East Central is one and seven overall and has lost five straight, four straight on the road. The regional rankings came out this week and Harding is number five. Don't forget that the top seven teams qualify for the Division II playoffs. And for the coolest thing I saw, I take you to Thomas Jefferson High School in Dallas, Texas. After tornadoes last week damaged the building, some Dallas Cowboy football players and cheerleaders stopped by to bring some smiles to students and staff coping with all the changes. Robbie Owens is going to tell us some more. Dallas Cowboys players will be back on the field soon enough. And we'll put the rest here. We'll do like two or three up here. Thank you guys so much. Today, they're scoring points in the community. Oh man, it's amazing. Delivering hot lunches. One, two, three. And smiles to DISD staffers forced to relocate after the tornado destroyed their schools. After everything happened, I mean, it's the best. This is a huge morale boost. We have a great platform. Um, just because we're cowboys, you know, we could put a smile on somebody's face. Still, behind the smiles and photo ops. It's been pretty hard, actually, kind of, because, like, changes. All, yeah, all this changes and everything. And, like, recently, everything's just been hard. And the adults know it, too. Our days have been exhausting, and even though on the news it looks like everything is going great, everybody is just spent at the end of a day, and we get in our cars and most of us cry on the way home because it's just so hard. Thank you so much. So if every little bit helps, as the principal has said, a busload of love and support will surely take them far. Giving us hope, showing us that everything will be all right. We just got to keep on moving forward. Well, before we go, I have just one last thing to tell you. Harding Academy has officially sealed their spot in the playoffs. So that is exciting news right there. But in other news, well, I don't have any. So back to Jackson and Abigail.